guys, so today I have a video on how to do print and cut for tumblers, but you don't need water slide and you don't need printable vinyl. Right here we have um, our little mermaid who's going to be going on this beach tumbler. Um, I just got her off Etsy. Okay. Um, I posted this, um, how to do this in a couple of Facebook groups that I'm in. And one of the really big Facebook groups, um, they had a issue with uh, a couple of the ones I did where um, they were known characters. Um, and I got all of my stuff from Etsy and they were gifts for like a one and a two year old for their birthday gift. Um, they were saying that some of the Etsy sellers, they get fake licenses and I've never heard this before. And this was the only group that had mentioned it, but this group also sells their own files and they also sell their own water slide paper and um, sticker paper. So I don't know if they just didn't like me not using their stuff and coming up with an alternative for their stuff. Um, but I haven't had an issue with it and I feel that if they're selling on Etsy then they shouldn't be using fake licenses. And if they can't get real licenses, why are so many people selling it? So that's just a thought for you guys. Um, as long as I have a license, I feel fine selling it because that's what the license is for. I'm just going to print and cut like normal. All right, and once it's printed, we are going to use this, it's Plasti Dip Glossifier. And it's the clear, so it just does a clear rubber coat over your whole image. It doesn't matter if you do it before or after you cut. I just do a light coat and then it dries super fast, so maybe in another five minutes, do another one. All right, back for the second coat. All right, and a trick I have for taking the paper off this mat is to just roll it back. All right, now that she is all dry, um, you can do a layer on the back, but I've done it both ways and I've noticed it doesn't really matter. Um, so then you take your tumbler and your paintbrush and your Mod Podge, and it doesn't matter, this is gloss, I've used a mat, it doesn't matter at all. And you just take a little bit and then decide where you want them to be, and just do a very thin coat. And it dries clear anyway, so you won't see it. Okay. And then you take your decal. And 
And she might go on a little hard because of this curve. And then I didn't make a big enough square, so just take a little bit and push it down. And you can use your finger to push the edges down. Once everywhere is stuck to the cup, I just do another layer on top um, just to keep the edges down and to get any bubbles that might be hiding under there out. And there's a wrinkle right there, but you won't see it under the epoxy where the paper is so thin. smooth out anywhere that might need it. There, and I would let this dry for 24 hours. Um, you don't have to, but if your Mod Podge is not completely dry, it will turn white under the epoxy, and I would rather be safe than sorry. But there is your printed with printer paper decal, and it's just the cheapest printer paper I can find. At